What's up, everybody? It's your boy Skip the Legend bringing you guys another YouTube video on Pepe. This token is running, as you guys are, are that are familiar with crypto know. Now, for those who are not familiar with crypto, Pepe is a token that ran things last year when it comes to meme coins as a whole. The only meme coin that was able to combat, or not even combat, it to match what Pepe was doing last year is Bonk. Bonk made significant strides last year, and so did Pepe. And Pepe, along with the rest of the crypto industry, was seeing some decline and seeing some reconsolidation points. But now we have seen them not only just run 40% in the last 24 hours, they have ran 400% in the last seven days, bringing their price from five zeros one four four seven to now five zero seven four great massive strides and the volume has saw a massive increase as well if you got in a month ago you could have gotten in at six zeros nine zero one six now this is a token i talked about on my channel before but we did not talk about them during this time period so i just want that for full transparency but this is one of those tokens that i do want to talk about in the next crypto bull run along with a month a lot more other tokens so if there's a token you're familiar with or that you want me to cover or just want more publicity out there for them let me know in the comment section down below and also leave a like and subscribe to turn on post notifications so you know when i upload so that now more people will come to the channel as well now with with all that being stated let's get into it in the last seven days we have seen a massive shift when it comes to the holders last monday or yeah last monday or february 26 the holder count was at 156,000 holders a little bit before that we saw the holder count at 155,000 just sitting there treading there real easy like right now we're seeing the holder count at 168,997 holders and i'm expecting this thing to continue growing during the weekend we did not just see um pepe doing great things we also saw bitcoin doing some great things as well bitcoin hit a price point of sixty five thousand dollars last night and hit sixty four thousand dollars the day prior so all those things help boost ever uh pepe's run along with ethereum the token that they are on the chain of going up 14 percent. and because pepe is on the ethereum chain pepe does receive some boost in price action when Pe ethereum's price goes up because their total value locked or some of the value that is locked in pepe is locked in ethereum uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to go into detail a little bit later but i'll get the point i just want to go over some things that help run pepe in a quick holistic way another thing was pepe being named the meme coin of the year on coin market cap one of the most used utilized crypto watching platforms that there are there's coin market cap there's coin gecko there's gecko terminal there's pool coin there's all these different uh, means of actually viewing tokens and watching them and spectating them and merely making sure that your investment is a good investment but coin market cap is definitely the highest of the highest tiers when it comes to that and they released an article stating that pepe was the meme coin of the year and had many re reasons to be it and many reasons to continue being it as a whole which is crazy because that meant that it was it they felt like pepe was better and bigger than bonk and did greater things last year and i can definitely understand that pepe launched last year and when they launched and when they and everything afterwards they was doing some great things another thing that helps pepe in their run and they're now <laughs> they yeah their run is now they're trending on twitter so that also helps a lot what also helps them as well is that when you go over to search it audit you see that they have a security score of 88 when it comes to the code, a 92. When it comes to the com community, 93. When it comes to the marketing, a 96. When, you, when it comes to governance and operations, above a 90. The governance is the highest out of all of their categories, which is a 96. And the fundamentals of the code itself, 
it's a 60. So they love the way that Pepe markets. They love the way that the they govern their cryptocurrency and they handle all the transactions. There's not too much control given to the, the users, but it's enough control to where it's still decentralized. And then you also have a really, really strong community as well with Pepe. So there's all these things to love about Pepe, especially when you look at how more things on Sartic Audit that Sartic Audit does watch for, uh, because it's one of the it's one of the best um, platforms to use when it comes to security of assets. But it's also trying to do things that give it more value. Sartic Audit is also doing things that bring them more value, like tracking the total transactions that are done. We saw 31,000 transactions done with Pe Pepe. And in the last seven, and that was all in seven days, those seven, those 31,357 transactions were c consisting of $2.1 billion worth of tokens being traded. And right now there's 9,000 active users uh, trading uh, on Pepe. So it's crazy. It's crazy. And if you also want to know where these people are, you can see that there's a lot of people in Canada. There's a lot of people in the U.S., not really on the California side, but really here in this little like <laughs> this straight down section of the U.S. of the of the map in general. You can see there's a lot of people that buy Pepe and there's also some people in Africa. There's some people in the Middle East that buy um, and that are actively trading Pepe. But for the most part, it's in the Americas where a majority of the transactions are taking place. So if you are in the Americas, let me know by just saying, I don't want to say America because Brazil, I want y'all to get a chance. Argentina, I want y'all to get a chance. Latin America, I want y'all to get a chance. Just say, we. just say something. Just say something. Rep your country. Rep your country down below in the comment section. But yeah, so this is that, that's some things about Pepe. Some other things about Pepe is that they do have some things, um, some DNS help, health um, things that could do, be done better. But when you look at every cryptocurrency as a whole and you look at what they have that's wrong with them, it's things that every it's, it's these exact same things. The missing X frame options header, the missing con content um, security policy. And quite honestly, I could go into detail about what these things are, but it's going to be a waste of time. The the whole point of this video is to figure out why Pepe is going is going up, who Pepe is, what do they have to offer, and what is it? Are, are they? And right now, I'm showing are they a secure asset? Right now, we get to see some of the con, the uh, trading constraints. Constraints. There's no honey potting. There's no buy tax. There's no sales tax. There's no modifiable tax at all. And there's no transfer. Uh, no none of the transfers that you take place on it can be plausible now there is blacklisting there is an anti-well system there is a modified in the anti-wall system is modifiable the blacklist function serves as a way to for some cryptocurrencies to keep other people or for anybody they can choose who can stop um, selling or trading their asset but it's usually used to quit bots from trading their assets uh, and they also have an anti-well system the anti-well system is to combat those big wallet holders actually being able to just dump the price and tank pepe uh, there's a medium movement when it comes to the whales um currently uh and when it also comes to the total number of holders we actually see that over on certic audit that they say that is 184,690 total holders rather than 168 holders, uh, 168,000 holders as we saw on Ethereum, Ethereum scan. Uh, so those are two different numbers. You can choose the one you want to go with. When Pepe hits uh, 184,000 holders, then I guess that's when we know. All right, yeah, the Sertic might be accurate. <laughs> Sertic might be the more active, accurate one of them all but now nah, back to back to the point when it comes to all the volume that certic or, or that pepe's received 2.4 billion dollars of their of the last 24 hours their of their volume came from central exchanges 
25 million dollars came from decentralized exchanges usually i like to come to gecko terminal to figure out why it's like some, some of the trading pairs and see how much what the trade trading action was but i can't do that or there's no point of doing that when these when their decentralized exchanges are providing one percent of the training volume that they have it's, it's just it's just not it's not good practice it's terrible practice so all that being stated all of that being heard and understood i'm liking where pepe how pepe is moving i was always holding pepe so i'm still liking what it's doing so <laughs> i'm happy i'm just happy of what it's doing and I would love to see it continue doing more and more and more things with the with the high Twitter activity and the more and more Twitter followers that their page is receiving. I have strong belief, or I have I have belief and my my hope <laughs> that Pepe can continue this run and hopefully break a zero before the next Bitcoin having period. So that when the next Bitcoin have when when this up and coming Bitcoin having period actually hits, they break another zero. And that's even more money. <laughs> and that's even more people that find out about Pepe because that's going to cause more people to follow or that's going to yeah cause more people to buy and hold. And we get to have more people in this channel that we can talk about uh, crypto with and that can share with me their crypto holdings. But please, if you're here now, Share with me your crypto holdings. Share with me your thoughts and sentiment on Pepe, and share with me your uh, thoughts and uh, and, and, the, uh, and, <laughs> and your sentiment on this video right here. I love you all. You have a blessed one. Stay safe. Peace.